Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about JK to SR flip flop conversion in digital logic design course or our switching theory and logic design course or our digital electronics course. It is one of the important concept in the above three courses. In the previous video, we are already discussed about JK to SR to JK flip flop conversion. If anybody wants that video, please refer that video in my YouTube channel, Devela Srinivas Rao. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about how to convert the JK flip flop to SR flip flop conversion. The first step in this conversion is identify the available flip-flop and required flip-flop in this conversion. In this conversion, the available flip-flop is JK flip-flop and the required flip-flop is SR flip-flop. So this is the first step in, the, in this conversion. Available flip-flop is JK flip-flop and the required flip-flop is SR flip-flop. The second step and the third step in this conversion is characteristic table of required flip-flop. Here the required flip-flop is SR flip-flop and excitation table of available flip-flop. Available flip-flop is JK flip-flop. Okay. First, we have to construct the characteristic table of SR flip-flop. In the characteristic table of SR flip-flop, we have to take two inputs, S and R. S and R. And the present state is Q of T. And the presented state is Q of T. With these three inputs, we have to find out the next state that is Q of T plus 1. Okay. With three inputs, how many number of possible input combinations we are getting? Eight input combinations. N is nothing but number of inputs. Yes. R and Q of T. Three inputs. How many number of possible input combinations? That is eight possible input combinations. Okay. So S means set input. R means reset input. Q of T means previous output. This can also called as present state. So what are the eight possible input combinations? Zero, zero, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So these are the 8 possible input combinations. By using this 8 possible input combinations, for each and every possible input combination, we have to find out the next state, that means Q of T plus 1. Now, we already know that the characteristic table of SR flip-flop, how we are getting Q of T plus 1, that is the next state, from these 3 inputs. S value 0 and R value 0, whatever the previous output is there, the previous output can be obtained as the present output. Next one, S value 0, R value 0, whatever the previous output is there, the previous output can be obtained as the present output. Next one, S value 0, R value 1, that means it is a reset state. The output of the flip-flop is 0. S value 0, R value 1. This is also a reset state. The output of the flip-flop is 0. 
Next one, S value 1, R value 0. That means it is a set state. The output of the flip flop is 1. Next, S value 1, R value 0. This is also a set state. The output of the flip flop is 1. Next one, S value 1, R value 1. So it is an invalid state. So invalid state can be written as don't care. Invalid state. Next one, S value 1, R value 1. We have to write don't care or question mark or we have to write invalid state. Invalid state. Okay. So how we are getting this characteristic table? Please refer the previous video SR flip flop. Okay. So at that point, how we are getting from this uh, uh, inputs and how we are getting our next state Q of T plus 1 from the three given inputs. Please uh, refer that previous video SR flip flop for better understanding how we are getting the characteristic table. Okay, next. So, this is the characteristic table of required flip-flop. Okay, once we are getting the characteristic table of required flip-flop, SR flip-flop, then ex construct the excitation table of JK flip-flop. In the same table, we have to construct the excitation table for JK flip-flop. So, here the flip-flop inputs are whatever the inputs are there in the available flip-flop JK that can be taken as flip-flop inputs. Okay. How we are getting this flip-flop inputs J and K? By using the present output, present state and the next state. So, these are called as inputs for finding out the flip-flop inputs. So, this is the present state Q of T and this is the next state. So, this is can also be called as previous output and this can be also called as present output. So, these are these two columns are the inputs for finding out the flip-flop inputs J and K. We already know that the excitation table of JK flip-flop. From that excitation table, we have to fill this uh, flip-flop inputs J and K. Now, the first input combination is 0, 0. Q of T value 0, Q of T plus 1 value 0. Then, so J value is 0, K value is don't care. Next, Q of t value 1 and Q of t plus 1 value 1, then j value is don't care and k value is 0. Next one, Q of t value 0, Q of t plus 1 value 0. So, we are getting j value 0 and k value is don't care. Next, Q of t value is 1 and Q of t plus 1 value is 0. So, then we are getting don't care 1. Next one, Q of t value 0, Q of t plus 1 value is 1, then we are getting 1 comma don't care. Next one, Q of t value 1 and a Q of t plus 1 value 1, then we are getting don't care comma 0. Here, Q of t plus 1 value is invalid or don't care. But Q of T value 0, at that time, we have to write both inputs are don't care. Here Q of T value 1 and Q of T plus 1 value is don't care. So one of the input is don't care or are invalid. Then the people of inputs are also don't care. Okay. So this is the excitation table of available people of J and K by using the two input columns Q of T and Q of T plus 1. For better understanding of excitation table of JK flip-flop, please refer that previous video. So, JK flip-flop. Okay. 
from that video we are uh, we are getting the better understanding of characteristic table and excitation table of jkp block now once we are constructing the characteristic table of sr flip flop and the excitation table of jk flip flop so then the third fourth step is find out the boolean expressions for flip flop inputs j and k inputs j and k for finding out the boolean expressions for j and k inputs okay we have to take these three inputs as inputs okay so how many number of input combinations are there eight possible input combinations from the given three inputs s r and q of t so that we are considering the three variable carnap map because here there are three inputs are there so that we have to use three variable carnap map for j and k flip flop inputs so here first one is s input second one is r input third one is q of t input so these are the three inputs for three variable carnap map so this is a zero this is one this is zero 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 one 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 zero for the second also s r into q of t so 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 now first we have to find out the boolean expression for j okay this is the boolean expression for j and this is the boolean expression for k okay so consider j column in that j column where the don't cares and ones are present here don't care is that the corresponding input combination is 0 0 1 so s value 0 r value 0 q of t value 1 so 0 0 1 0 0 1 we have to place don't care next one here don't care is that the corresponding input combination 0 1 1 so here 0, 1, 1, we have to place don't care. Next one, here 1 is there, the corresponding input combination is 1, 0, 0. So here 1, here 0, 0, we have to place 1. Next, here don't care is there, the corresponding input combination is 1, 0, 1. Here 1, here 0, 1, we are placing don't care. Next here don't care is that the corresponding input combination is 1, 1, 0. Here 1, here 1, 0, we are placing don't care. Next here don't care is that the corresponding input combination is 1, 1, 1. So here 1, here 1, 1, we are placing don't care. Okay. So here 5 don't cares and a single one. So 5 don't cares and a single one. Next, how we are uh, first, first priority given to opt. So there are uh, eight, here two cells are vacant so that opt is not possible. Next priority given for quad. So to form the quad, here single one is there, three don't cares are there. Single one and three don't cares can be formed as a quad. Here don't care means either 0 or 1, 0 or 1. So here single 1 and 3 don't cares. 3 don't cares can be formed as 3 ones, then they can formed as a quad. And these 2 don't cares can be ignored. Our main aim is grouping of ones. Whenever we are grouping of ones, if any don't care is required, that don't care can be considered as a one. Okay. So one don't care, don't care, don't care can be formed as a quad. So then what is the expression we are getting? So this is S R Q of T. So for this one, one 
zero zero one zero zero. For this, don't care one zero one one zero one. For this, don't care one 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 one. For this, don't care one one zero one one zero. So then, what is the expression we are getting? Any column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. So R column is ignored because it contains a combination of zeros and ones. Q of T column is ignored because it contains zeros and ones. Only S column is considered because it contains only ones. In that column, S value one means that is a yes. So then. What is the expression we are getting for uh, J? So J is equal to yes. This is the expression we are getting. Next, find out the Boolean expression for K. For that one, we have to consider the K column. In that K column, we are consider only don't cares and ones. First, don't care is that the corresponding input combination is zero 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 zero. We have to place don't care. Next here, don't care is that the corresponding input combination is zero one zero zero one zero. We are placing don't care. Next here one is that the corresponding input combination is zero one one zero one one. We are placing one. Next here don't care is that the corresponding input combination is one zero zero one zero zero. Next one here don't care is that. The corresponding input combination is one one zero. Here one, here one zero. Don't care. Next, here don't care is that the corresponding input combination is one 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 one. So here uh, two vacant places are there. There is no possibility of opt. Next priority given for quad. So here one don't care, don't care, don't care. So these four cells can be found as a quad. Here we are ignoring these two don't guess. We are concentrating only on covering of ones. When we are covering of ones, if any don't care is required, that don't care can be considered to form the quad. Here one don't care, don't care, don't care. Here single one is there. So. This don't care. This don't care. This don't care can be formed as a quad when we are placing one in the place of don't care. Don't care means either zero value or one value. So then, what is we are ignoring these two don't cares. What is the expression we are getting? S R Q of T. For this one, zero one one zero one one. For this, don't care. Zero one zero zero one zero. For this, don't care. One one one. For this, don't care. One one zero. So any column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. S column contains combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. Q of T column contains a combination of zeros and ones. We have to ignore that column. Only R column is considered because it contains only ones. In that column, what is R value? R value one means that is R. So what is the Boolean expression we are getting for uh, K? K is equal to R. Okay. So the Boolean expression is J is equal to yes and K is equal to R. So these are the two Boolean expressions we are getting. Next. The last step is we have to draw the circuit diagram. In that circuit diagram, first draw the flip flop. In that flip flop, whatever the whatever the available inputs are there, the available flip flop is J K flip flop. In that one, what are the inputs are there? J and K. So that here we have to write. J here we have to write K and this is the clock signal and this one is Q of T Q of this one is Q of T bar okay somebody they can be taken as Q of L okay there is no problem at all I am taking Q of T Q of T bar okay so here. 
what is the j value j value is nothing but s so this is a s input s input is connected to j what is k value k value is nothing but r so r input is a connected to k so this is the circuit diagram we are getting after converting jk flip flop to sr flip flop so this is the clock symbol so s input is connected to j r input is connected to k and these are the two outputs q of t and q of t bar and this is the clock symbol we already know that in the jk flip flop j input is equivalent to s in the clocked sr flip flop k input is equivalent to r in the clocked sr flip flop so we are getting already same okay j input is equivalent to s k input is equivalent to r so this is the jk to sr flip flop conversion so thank you thank you for watching this video please like this video and share this video to your friends and classmates to get the future updates please click on the bell button to get the future updates in my youtube channel and please forward this videos to your friends and classmates if anybody have doubts please put your doubts in the comment section if anybody wants please uh, refer that videos in my youtube channel so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video so this is my channel name so please subscribe my youtube channel thank you thank you one and all